Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Today, I got a little treat for you guys, all right? So we had a really cool fixture that we were setting up. And I thought, you know what? Let's actually, before we set it up, let's actually show you what we have going on because knowledge is power. And a lot of you machinists out there, you just need to see something to get it and therefore you can implement it and not only save money, but make money for your company, all right? So now one thing that I'll say is when you look at machinists, you look at programmers, you see that each one possesses creativity and you can put a hundred programmers together and none of them will be identical. Somebody might work on this machine, somebody else works on this machine, somebody experienced this type of tooling and somebody did not, they actually experienced something else, right? We could take parts like this, right? This is a monster hook. It's actually a twin hook from Monster Hooks. It's got a cool shape. Now, a lot of people will look at it and they'll be puzzled because they're like, wait, you're taking this guy and I understand that this piece of material is gonna turn into this piece of material, but how do you actually hold the part still so you can cut off the back? And that is where the art of fixturing happens. First off, we have a base plate, okay? This base plate gets locked down with bolts to the table and it does not move. When you look at this side, this side will be towards the back of the machine because once it's locked down, we will take an indicator and we'll indicate this surface right here. Therefore, when you start machining the parts, you can ensure that everything's gonna be perfect. And this is the fixture or subplate that you'd actually put on top of the base. Now this guy right here has the dowel pin holes. You see dowel pins down here, but you actually take this guy, put it down over, boom, and it locks in perfectly, right? Then we just take our bolts, we pop in our bolts, and we lock it down. And the raw material sits in here. We got the Mighty Bite pit bull clamps. Boom, we lock here, we lock here, we put another one here, and then we lock here and here. Now, when this fixture is on the table and I'm done with the first operation, what we do is we actually just lift up the first fixture, take it off, and then we simply take the second fixture and pop that bad boy on and then pop in all our bolts, boom, boom. Then we lock the subplate to the base plate and we're moving. I've been making fixtures like this for decades, right? So we're gonna take something that's old school for us and we're gonna actually put a new school flare on it. Now let me explain what I'm talking about. Every time that I put the base plate in, I need to take the vices off the table, I need to clean the table, and then I need to put the base plate on. I need to put all the bolts in, the T-nuts, the anchors, right? And I gotta lock everything down and that actually takes time. By the way, you hear that? That's the 500 pound titanium beast octopus being roughed on the machine right over there while I do this video, pretty cool, okay. Back to it. I actually have the Vero S system on the table, okay? The Vero S system from Shunk. Now, we had a vise on here during Boombastic and I was showing you guys how easy it is to take the vise that has these pins on it and actually drop it into the Vero S system and then the air actuates, boom, and locks it down, okay? Now, since I had it in, I thought, you know what? Let's actually take our old fixtures and make them Vero S fixtures, all right? So we took this guy off, boom. We flipped it up. We actually machined these two pockets right here with the thread. It's absolutely perfect. This thing has to be nice and snug right inside. Pop this guy, boom. Oh, nice fit right there. This guy goes in here, this guy goes in here. And 
that's it. So we put the Vero S pins in. So you can see these are the clamps that actually grab that pin. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some air. I'm gonna put it in here. Watch, you're gonna see it move right here. Boom, it just opened. Then I'm gonna grab my base plate. I'm gonna put it down. Drop it in. And that's it, it's locked solid. So now I can simply come in, I can bring this, boom, put all the bolts in, lock everything down, and then I can go to the second op, lock it down, and then when I'm done, I simply can put the air in, boom, and I can just take it off. And then I can come right back in, I got my five axis vise from Shunk, I can drop that guy in, boom, lock solid, and there you go. A little bit of new school technique with some old school technique to give you guys the knowledge to take your fixed string to the highest level. I love you guys, I love this trade. And if you learned something from this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments down below, and I will see you later. Boom.